Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron from Studio 3B. Today I just wanted to explain to you five of my reasons why I hack in Tosh and why I think you might want to as well. Sit tight. Guys, the first reason why I hack in Tosh, and it basically comes down to this, no matter what things I choose to do in life, uh, cost. It is the poor man's Ferrari, so to speak. The features and value you're able to get out of a Hackintosh far surpass any price that Apple might charge for their stuff. Now, granted, the hardware is top notch coming from Apple, but you can buy very good hardware from third party vendors, from ASUS, from Gigabyte, from MSI, and all the companies that provide the hardware that you could run a Hackintosh on. You could buy really good products for the same price you would get a Mac Pro, for example. So you can buy top end graphics card, top end motherboard, and still come well under budget when comparing to the equivalent Mac Pro or the equivalent MacBook Pro. You can buy a very nice laptop for well under the price of a MacBook Pro. So there's my first reason. My second reason why I hack in Tosh Ease of use. It is a fully functional, well-integrated ecosystem. You've heard about the Apple ecosystem. Love it or hate it, it's there. And it's very nice if you're bought into it a little bit. So for example, their programs seamlessly just work together. Photos, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Logic, all these programs that come from Apple, they very nicely integrate. Everything on Mac OS is just simple to find. It's intuitive and it's easy. It's like you don't have to be a genius to use it, but if you are a genius, you appreciate it that much more. Third reason why I like to hack and tosh, features. There are new features that come out with Mac OS every single year. They come out with a brand new operating system, a brand new OS version with brand spanking new features every single fall. And September time rolls around, boom, there's a new operating system right on your doorstep ready to go. One drawback of this is that every single year they tend to drop older hardware support. However, if you're up to date with your hardware, you get new features. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'll go over three of my top favorite features of the latest Mac OS from 2023, Mac OS Ventura. The fourth reason why Hackintosh is audio and video production. Audio and video production run seamlessly on Mac OS. Reaper, Pro Tools, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, even DAWs like Harrison Mixbus. They run flawlessly on a Mac OS. Integrations with audio and video cards, they just work out of the box. You don't have to mess around with a bunch of odd drivers and things like that. They tend to just work without drivers. Mac OS just supports what they support and they support it well. Also, if you're not just producing audio and video, but you're a consumer watching movies, listening to music, all your audio programs are gonna work just great on Mac OS, whether it be Plex, Audervana, Rune, everything like that, they just work on Mac OS. And you don't have to look very far to find support for these products. And a fifth reason why I like the Hackintosh, it's just easy on the eyes. The attention to detail, the beautiful graphics that it comes with, the beautiful menus, everything just works nicely and they pay attention to the user experience to a great detail. Almost painstakingly refining their look and feel of their operating system to meet the every needs of the individual. It's not like it's just thrown out the door to the user and expected them to figure out how this thing works. They literally make sure the user will intuitively find every feature in the system and provide support if they have any problems doing so. Guys, those are five reasons why I still Hackintosh. I've been Hackintoshing since 2010 and I have not stopped since. I started with this idea. Is it even possible to put Mac OS on a PC? I Googled it at the time. There was a few people out there doing it and it took a little bit of hacking. There was uh, Tony Mac x86 and MultiBeast in, in the old way of doing things. And basically when I got Mac OS Snow Leopard up and running and eventually Mountain Lion, I was thrilled. I was like, wow, I really broke some barriers here. And ever since then, I've been staying up to date with the latest operating system and getting my hardware up to date with what's most recently supported. If you like Apple products, you're an Apple fan, go ahead and, and try a Hackintosh. You won't be disappointed and you'll save a ton of money. Now, one downside is a little bit of technical details that are involved in making a Hackintosh. It takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and basically learning your hardware. If you're more interested in how to build a Hackintosh, please see my video in the upper corner, and I will show you step-by-step -step how I installed Mac OS on a PC. Now, did you know that you can make a phone call from your computer? You can answer the cell phone on your computer. You could use your microphone and your headphones 
on your computer. If you have an audio device and a microphone input, you can answer and you can take calls that way without having to use the cell phone. It uses the cell phone to redirect to the computer itself. So this is really handy if you're having meetings and the meeting calls the phone. You could simply just pick up on the phone and use your microphone and headphones to answer the call and you don't have to walk around with little earbuds in or hold the phone up to your ear like that. It's a really nice feature and it gives you top end audio quality for yourself as well as the listener because you're giving them a good microphone. Before Ventura came out, I went out and bought a 25 foot HDMI cable. When I'm playing games with my family and friends, I run an HDMI cable from my computer all the way to my television, which is well across the room. Now you can cast from the operating system to a television using Roku simply by going in the upper right hand corner and choosing the cast to device option. This saves me a ton of effort. It casts the audio and the video from your desktop to the Roku and it's extremely useful and extremely convenient and I highly recommend it. Third feature I really like about Ventura is the shared photos library. You know, I used to just kind of send photos on text message or copy and paste them into emails. Now, simply drop it into the shared library and then you could share the photos with all your family and it's very convenient. And I can't wait to make more use of it as I continue my journey in photography. There you go. Some reasons why I like to Hackintosh, some reasons why you might want to as well. And those were three features that I love about Ventura that just came out. If you're able to get past the technical issues of installing it in the first place, and you're able to find some supported hardware that it will run on, I highly recommend switching to Mac OS because of all the reasons that I gave you. And plus, it's just a really cool project to start out if you're kind of a techie and you like to just see if you can get something to work. It's a really good challenge and I challenge you to go and make a Hackintosh of your own with your hardware. Thanks for watching. See you next time.